More on this visit and the state of cross-strait ties. I'm now joined by Liu Ping. He's a Washington, D.C. correspondent for the China Times. It's really amazing when you think about it. I was talking to another guest earlier this week. You know, it doesn't seem that long ago. We saw that picture in Singapore, Ma and Xi shaking hands. It seemed like relations going very, very well. Now very frosty. What, how would you gauge, why don't we start there? How would you gauge the relationship now between the Taiwan region and, and the mainland? Yes, um, I think due to the, um, the orientation of the Taiwan's current government, uh, so the uh, government or official communication is totally disconnected. So I think you already asked the most important question, why uh, Chairwoman Hong visit mainland China at this moment? Because it, she or the KMT, the uh, Taiwan's opposition party, has to give another voice, which is quite different from uh, what's the uh, current government, that uh, the people in Taiwan, the KMT stand for more than 40% of the people's public opinion. They really need or ask for peace. Uh, communication and conversation instead of confrontation. And so this communication, this just a short visit, what does it do in terms of kind of bridging the divide, would you say? Okay. Um, just the like the, uh, the title is a peaceful Devel development uh, forum of a cross, uh, cross trait. It gives um, symbolic and substantive mean. Uh, symbolic, this is the first KMT or the uh, then ruling party's um, uh, visit to mainland China after the January's election, which took away KMT's um, administrative and legislative authority. Uh, so it's uh, some symbolic meaning. But uh, substantively, it gives um, uh, the, the mainland China government to reassure the 92, 1992 consensus, uh, which was the basis during the past or the previous 80 years for the um, uh, so many agreements, uh, so many talks, so many potential agreements between the two sides of Taiwan Street. So it shows to the world there is a different opinion or different thinking in Taiwan. So uh, when we look at the Taiwan region, I mean, one of the, the things that jumps out at you is the statistics about uh, tourism, mainland uh, visit, visitation to some of the beaches dropping uh, mm -hmm. significantly. Are, are business people in the Taiwan region starting to get nervous that they're, they're going to see an impact, an economic impact from the frosty relations? And, and it, does this help in that regard? Yeah, that's a good question, because not only a businessman, but to tourists, but to local uh, small business, uh, most um, they really like to have uh, visitors from all over the world, and uh, the, 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 the language, the culture is so similar. So the tourists from mainland China is a good help for Taiwan. So I think uh, we just have to be patient. You know, until now, the uh, Beijing government has not uh, declared a timetable saying, uh, Tsai, submit your test sheet. No. And uh, uh, the uh, Beijing, I think, is uh, still waiting for the possible transformation or uh, the uh, mutually acceptable agreement or resolution, resolution between the two sides. Liu Ping, thank you so much for coming in, providing analysis. Appreciate it. Thank you.